Hello, this is chapter five, video number one. This entire chapter is about probability. So we are going to be calculating probabilities, interpreting probabilities, and um, figuring out the different probability models that we will possibly have. So let's go ahead and talk about uh, Planko to start off. I think we're gonna go ahead and use this as a general example of how to calculate basic probabilities and also what that means. So uh, with this model, we have Planko. Uh, I don't know how many of you guys have watched The Price is Right, but you put a little chip up here, uh, it falls down, and then lands into one of these. Uh, so we have 100, 500, 1,000, 0 dollars, and then finally, ooh, uh, this one says 100,000. Typically that's only a 10,000. I guess I'll go ahead and change that to make this more realistic. Typically this is only uh, 10,000, so I'll go ahead and scratch that out. So looking at what we have here with this probability model, we have a sample space. A sample space is uh, the collection of all of our possible outcomes that we could have here. So our collection of outcomes, and I'm gonna go ahead and just do this in, in uh, ascending order. Uh, we could have $0, we could have $100, we could have $500, uh, we could have $1,000, and finally, uh, typically this one says 10000 so I'm going to say that we could have $10,000. Uh, so that is our sample space. Those are our five different events that could happen. We could earn $500. We could earn $10,000. And I'm going to go ahead and calculate a few different probabilities. So I'm going to go ahead and calculate the probability. What is the probability of getting $0? So the probability of getting $0, well, looking at this, we have two outcomes where we could have zero dollars and each of these is equally likely so i have one two three four five six seven eight nine so i have two out of nine possibilities uh where i earn zero dollars and if i were to divide that out you would end up with point two repeating i'm going to go ahead and put this right at about I'm gonna round, if that's okay with you guys. Um, I'm gonna put this right at 22%. So what does this mean? This means that out of 100 events, let's say we were to do this 100 times, we would expect about 22 of them. Now we are not gonna freak out if it's not exactly 22 out of 100. It could be higher, it could be a little bit lower based off of that tri or those trials but we are expecting around 22%. And we could calculate these for any of these. We could calculate this for $100, $500, $10,000. But the one thing that you guys do need to know is that all of these would add up to 100%. So if we were to add up all of these probabilities, probability of 1,000, and finally the probability of 10,000, uh, these would all have to add up to 100%. None of these can be negative. None of these uh, can be over 100% um, in order to be a probability model. Now, one thing that I do want to point out, um, and this is going to be a definition that we use in the future as well, what, what is our cutoff going to be for unusual events? Uh, what is going to be our cutoff for something to be unusual? Well, typically, if something has a probability, that is lower than 5%, we would consider that to be unusual. Um, so let's say that there was another little option um, and it was very, very rare. Let's say we had several of these and maybe one of them was a million. Typically, if the probability of getting that is lower than 5%, we say that is unusual. Um, now I'm going to say, if the probability of something is probability of an event, uh, let's say in this case, the probability of winning $150. Well, we're not going to say that's unusual. We're going to go ahead and say since that probability is 0%, we're going to say that that is impossible. So one thing that I do want to be clear of, unusual is lower than 5%, but if the probability is 0%, then we're going to go ahead and say that is impossible. Uh, so this is our introduction to probability, some basic probability rules and definitions. Um, and we're going to go ahead and expand this using the additional rule in the next video.